some fun with his new friend, Tiffany Sutton, when the young petite woman undressed and asked to tie him up. You wouldn't expect that this kind of thing's going to happen uh, during sex, but that's exactly what happened. You know, she tied me up and just began the assault. Sutton began slicing McDaniel across his neck, back, and arms, leaving a nasty blood trail. The 43-year-old escapes, is chased with a pickaxe, and passes out. And I came to you just seconds later in a fetal position on the floor, and she was in behind me drinking my blood. <laughs> yes, drinking his blood, cutting him with her own special knives. They were just skulls, different types of skulls, and they were ceremonial of some sort. There were three sizes, a small, medium, and a large. And even though I continued to try to get up and walk, and I would pass out, and every time I would wake up again, she would be drinking these wounds from my back. Moments before police arrive, Sutton pulls out another surprise, what's believed to be a satanic book authorizing her to take possession of his belongings. And she asked me would I sign this thing, and I just simply scribbled something. And I, so I don't know, that must be the, the book you're talking about. McDaniel's memorable Valentine's Day has certainly left him scarred for life. You never think about sex the same way again, will you? <laughs> no one will be talking.